Now, I, we, we really wanted to leave enough time to do the next cruise justice because it's on board uh, with Crystal Cruises. I actually was with Crystal a couple of years ago. Mm. Six star luxury. It was incredible. And I actually did a little bit of filming as well. So let's take you on board the ultimate in luxury with Crystal Cruises. Crystal Cruises have the most opulent staterooms afloat. The style is modern classic with the most beautiful decor and all of the rooms have the very latest amenities. One of my favourite places to visit has to be the Crystal Spa. It's award winning, repeatedly voted the world's best and the only Feng Shui inspired spa that I've ever experienced on the waves. Well, Crystal Cruises have been the undisputed leader in luxury travel now for almost two decades, and it's certainly reflected in their service, especially here, taking afternoon tea in the amazing Palm Court. Crystal Cruises offer an outstanding and diverse selection of bars and restaurants on their ships. And better still, they now have an all-inclusive drinks policy and open bar service. Now this is Silk Road, created by world famous Chef Nobu and his only seagrain venture in his global empire. Now the menus feature Chef Nobu's unique styling and blending of South American ingredients with Japanese dishes. In front of me, you've probably noticed, there is a separate sushi bar with items selected by Chef Nobu and prepared by one of his very skillfully trained chefs. This is the Galaxy Show Lounge, which offers breathtaking Broadway-style productions. The performers have trained at the best schools, performed on the best stages, and are now bringing you the best performances at sea. And the costumes, they're spectacular and really lavish. I had such, honestly, it was amazing. It really was. So and, beautiful. And I would love to go back on Crystal, but I'll be honest, because they are six star, sometimes they are out of our price range, this is an exclusive, well, an incredible deal, I should say, that has been put together with Planet Cruise, and I would love you to, even if you've got, you know, just questions about it, I'd love you to give us a call right now. Anyway, Gemma, over to you, because there's some tricky pronunciations on this one, so I'm yes. handing over to Gemma. My, uh, my uh, Chinese, etc., isn't fluent, so no. I'll do my best to bear with me, but yes, it is an incredible itinerary. It is. You are flying from London to Ho Chi Minh, where you're staying overnight, and then you're going to transfer from the airport for a two-night stay, uh, which is lovely. Now, absolutely incredible. You can take um, a boat tour, and we are going to include a discovery tour on the Mekong River. So you'll take a boat, and you'll go along and taste honey and see tropical fruits and listen to traditional music um, and all that kind of thing. So immediately you're in a land far away from home, um, and that's going to be included. But when you're in um, Ho Chi Minh, you can wander around. There's a shopping district called Hanoi, and there are bargains galore. And it's more really to soak up the atmosphere as well. Lots of Vietnamese wholesalers, so you'll see, you know, locals in action doing their shopping. But also, you may well find some bargains for yourself as well. Now, the night market, you have to do, given that you're here overnight, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday evenings, um, the whole market kind of lights up. And you'll see a lot of stuff you don't want to buy, but also a lot of stuff that you just think, oh, why not? And street food and just loads of energy. Think it's quite magical. It is. It is really magical. Very hustly and bustly. And, and maybe take like a bum bag or stuff. Keep all your stuff, you know, and a, a bag across your chest as well, because it's quite hectic there. Now, you you can go out to the Mekong Delta, you can go to the Coochie Tunnels, there's so much history here, it's unbelievable. I would love to tell you more, but we've got to crack well, on. Well, uh, you're then transferred from your hotel to port and you embark yes. this six-star luxury ship six nights. Oh, I know. Absolute heaven on earth. So then day five, um, we arrive again in Ho Chi Minh and you get to have a look around there. Then day six, we're at sea. And then day seven, we're in Hu Chan Mei in Vietnam. Now here, you can go and visit pagodas. There's the Imperial City, which is called the Citadel, which is interesting. It was bombed in the Vietnamese War and they're actually trying to restore it. But, you know, much of it is, is as it was. And you can get a, a tour guide here as well to really make the most of that and again so much sort of history of course with the war that is obviously a big thing um, so if that interests you you'll find out a lot about it the forbidden purple city is somewhere else to visit but I've got to move on day eight we're in Sanya 
Now, uh, this is the south gate of China. You're at the southernmost tip of the Hainan province, and you've got sort of tropical monsoony type weather here. Um, but you've got mountains, sea, river, and city, and it's going to be hot. It's a beautiful uh, beach here as well, which you wouldn't necessarily expect in China, but it's absolutely stunning. You've got the hot spring resort you can go and visit, and go to Yalong Bay. It's arguably one of the most beautiful beaches in China. Soft white sand, and do you know the sea is about 27 degrees. Oh, you imagine swimming in that, it's like being in a hot bath. Um, and then we are going to Hong Kong, and you've got an overnight on board as well. What an amazing city, as you can see. Skyscrapers, you can get the Victoria Peak and Tram, that will take you around. You can get that about five o'clock and get a really good view of the city. Um, the Hong Kong skyline, uh, every day at 8 p.m., they have a big light and sound show, which is really one of a kind and very magical to behold. You've got the Stanley Market, which is a big street market, incredible shopping, bit of designer shopping as well. Um, and you can go and visit Lantau Island as well. So lots and lots to do. There's even Hong Kong Disneyland not far away as well. Do eat some dim sum. As I say, do some shopping. The world's your oyster. And then, of course, we are back on the ship. Um, oh, sorry, we are transferring from the hotel to the airport and flying home overnight back to Heathrow. Wow. Um, you know, I wish we, we had longer. Um, I just want to really emphasise how luxurious this ship is. And when you go to this level, I mean, you can see here, six star... I know. What do you think? It, it's amazing that difference between five star, oh. which is absolutely incredible. When you go up to six star, you just will never want to leave the ship. Uh, and don't forget some of the exclusive dining options as well, uh, including your fare should be a night in Nobu's, um, oh, the most amazing, amazing Asian fusion cuisine. Um, you'll also, of course, get all of your drinks, your tips. It, it, it is a trip of a lifetime. And there's extra stays, of course, and there's handpicked hotels as well. Now, all of the cruises, you might be new to Planet Cruise. Well, the company have got nearly a decade of experience, and all of their cruises and holidays are Atal and Apta protected. All of your transfers all included. All the hotels will always be, you know, great hotels in central locations with great reviews online and flights with world-renowned airlines. 